everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again and this is my review for episode 4 of Married at First Sight season 4. Now firstly a little update from our couples from the previous episode, the morning after. For Eleni she says that physical attraction is still not there for her which is upsetting though I'm not surprised. One night just doesn't fix everything. And the attraction see is still all one-sided. I mean, Simon thinks that the, the matchmakers did a really good job. And switching over to Vanessa, she's, she thinks that there is sexual chemistry and they are both happy. Now, this week's episode, I really have to question whether some of the participants of this show are ready for this and what their motivations are. For the two women here, I get the impression that they are not ready to settle down and may want to be on the show just for some fun. One of them even more so than the other. Here we have Lauren. She is 33 and basically a car saleswoman and a single mother. She is matched with Andrew, 38 a firefighter and teacher. We also have an older couple, uh, business owner John 53 and also Deborah, uh, also 53, who is an ex-model. Now the matchmakers say that Lauren is independent, strong and values above all family, is very protective of her son, as you would expect from a single mum. and. Well, they want to find for her someone who would match her in energy and sociability. She married young in her 20s to a man 20 years older. She says that she's not attracted to someone weak. Wants someone masculine. Hear that again from this, this bride as well. And wants someone tall. She's matched with Andrew. 38, a firefighter and school teacher. Now the experts, well say the matchmakers, say that he's dependable and reliable, which is what she needs. They think that because he has experience working with kids of a similar age to a son, that he would be nurturing uh, and kind, trustworthy, and which is what she needs. So they think that these two are complementary. I don't think they should have been matched at all. Andrew is a stable man, however I don't think Lauren is ready to commit, let alone settle down and marry. Uh, you can see the way she acts, she isn't serious at all about this experiment or settling down, that's the impression I got from her actions, and she just continues to want to have fun. Because of that, if it was up to me, I wouldn't even have accepted her into this show at all. Now, at the wedding, um, she was disappointed that he wasn't taller. She says that she will not be able to wear heels anymore. And it's clear she wasn't happy. Even jokingly asked if she can turn back now. And when it came to the kiss, the marriage kiss, she, it was just a kiss on the lips, but nothing full on. So I gather it was more of, of uh, doing it just for the sake of, of having the kiss rather than she being into it at all. Now the other couple, John, uh, 53, he is a father with two daughters, two teenage daughters. He is an empty nester now, so it's uh, no surprise that he would like to find someone. Now Deborah, being an ex-model, she is creative. She loves life and doesn't know what it's like to belong to a family um, so because she's never been married before. So wanted someone with family values where she can enjoy each other's company. Now the thing with her, she says she wants someone exotic and different. She was with an islander before and she was happy and so she wants an islander again. That's what she's ordering. Now for the experts, they say that she needs to let it that go, that she thinks John is the man for her as he's a family man and he has grown up kids. 
and um, especially Deborah says that she's fearful of being on her own for the rest of her life and it's been 11 years since she's had someone now frankly I'm not sure if she's prepared actually prepared for a more mundane life as uh, she seems to be living quite a carefree life and actually enjoying her carefree life so at their actual wedding um, Deborah made a really grand entrance. She, uh, it, the wedding was on a beach with a specific theme. Deb made an entrance by having herself carried there by Polynesian men. And she expected it to be a Polynesian man that she was marrying. So when she met John, she actually was, didn't know if he was going to be her husband. And she was disappointed that he wasn't an islander. Now, John is a smoker as well. Um, she smelt cigarette smoke and said it would be hard for her. John did say that he would be willing to quit for the right woman. I'm not sure, I'm not sure but there seems to be a lot of wrong things uh, at this point in time. Now, her vows were traditional. She says she would cook, clean, care for him and submit to him as his wife. So that was interesting. And John said that he would be her rock, and that made uh, Deborah feel emotional. Now, when he did go to kiss her, she just gave him her cheek, so it was just a peck on the cheek. Deb says she doesn't know him yet to be doing that. Now, a funny thing at the reception was that, <laughs> well, I shouldn't say funny, but she, Deb missed her chair and fell, so a bit of commotion with. Um, John being the man and helping her up. Now Lauren and Andrew's wedding, they seem to have a lot of fun at the reception. I mean Andrew even took out his guitar and sang to her a song he, he had prepared. And Lauren did tell Andrew about her son and uh, she said that at the reception when they had a private moment, she says that he understands her circumstances as a single mum However, my feelings about her not being stable were right. I mean, after, right at night after the wedding, uh, Lauren and Andrew were going to go to a pub and he turned around and she was gone. So she had become a runaway bride. Now, matchmaking should not be about having someone to change them, as these matchmakers seem to have done in this case. It should be finding the best match based on who they currently are as people, uh, as people cannot change. You can't. Lauren is not serious, so given that they probably should have picked someone fun as well as her, not the stable Andrew. I mean, they would both not be serious then about this experiment, but at least then uh, they would have gotten along. You know, and Lauren and another man that was not serious. Well, that's it for this episode. Next episode, I will be the last introduction and wedding of the couples. We're introducing our, the last of our couples. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to be alerted to when my next video will be up. So until then, see ya.